Digital Network on ESPN Plus. We are on the campus of South Carolina State University as the Bulldogs at two and three did. It's been known as the OVC for many years, of course. Corey Fields gonna swing it out to the back and a nice run here. 25 still on his feet down the sideline. Midfield, he could go all the way. That's a touchdown. Well, we talked last week. We talked about being able to throw a short pass to go for 80, 90 yards. That's a there, around the 30 when he was pressured, but broke free well, down the class. <laughs> Yeah, see, I thought he might have. Two receivers right, one in the near side. And it's going to be a throw far side for Potts, and that is completed. And that's going to be freshman Jordan Potts. Claps his hands, he's ready. Going to throw this one, and that is caught by Clark again. And he gets that across the 45. Out of that 6'5 with that wingspan to catch it, it's got to be a gift. There's Corey back to pass and finds Nigel at the 30. Looks like he got the first down. down the last time they had it, then had to boot it away. And here's the delayed handoff here. And a nice bit of running for the back for the Golden Eagle. Rolls to his right and got a wide open night in the flat. Picks up that lost yardage and then some. Of getting to the ball and. It's hard to, to single out a guy because it's 11 hats to, it seems to be around every ball. Fields with good protection, and that is caught at the 40-yard line. Move the quarterback position. And it's going to be a handoff near side. This is Pagis. Got some room at the 20. 25 still on his feet. Potts being pressured. Going to throw this on the run. Got his man at the 40. Still on his feet. And he gets across. First time they've done this. Back to pass is Potts, gonna fire this one, and that is, I think that's Dean again, gonna be brought down just shy of the 40 down and 11. Potts claps his hands, he's ready. Here comes the pressure for SC State, and that is a wide open Pagis, catches it at midfield, still on his feet, and he trying to mix it up for the young freshman quarterback. And it's gonna be a pitch out tonight, gets the edge in the first down. Marcus Knight. Potts with a delayed handoff to Marcus Knight coming near side, dragging a tackler to the 36 yard line. Second down and five. It's a delayed handoff to Marcus Knight. Looked like a broken play. Knight keeps his feet churning for a first down. And yeah, that's the first day. The offseason RPO camps. I know about those. Here's Marcus Knight straight ahead at a nice tough physical run for the transfer. It takes maybe that one play or two plays. Well, that sounds like most quarterbacks in America. Sure. You know, when you own, you own, and when you off, you off. Fields with a run here. Can't pick up the first down. Sensational defense. And they've got the ball around midfield now. Pagis on the run. Gets free at the 45. 40 still on his feet. Fighting for extra yards inside. To this year, they bring back four linemen. Four starters on that front. Here's a little pitch and catch near side. And that is Clark once again. Potts the QB. A true freshman inside the red zone. A high pitch to Marcus Knight down the near side. Ten. Five still on his feet. Bowls over a player into the end zone. A signal initially by the official. Looked from here that he got in and he did. And that's that same play there. Uh, we'll send it a break as we take a look at Marcus Knight. Punching it in for the Golden They, they could use the encouragement, the Carolina Panthers up there north of the border as uh, Justin Smith-Brown gets the pitch and catch for second down and one. I think that's Josh Shaw getting it straight ahead. And after the initial hit, he fenders for Tennessee Tech. Ball Hawks and closing speed on defense. Here they come on the blitz. And there is a catch by the big tight end. Close to a first down for Tennessee Tech offensively today. Potts. Going to throw this one kind of sidearm near side, and that is caught by the receiver, but not some plays in the secondary. Third down, we'll call it six. Potts going to roll to his left. Going to throw, and that is caught by the receiver. Hodden in a really good player at a Winder, Georgia. Potts going to roll to his left, looking, throws downfield. Oh, what a catch! And it's made across the four. Out of the shotgun, two receivers in the near side. Bulldogs bring a little pressure here. Potts rolls to his right, throws it in the flat. I think that's Baker again at the 40. And Last play in protecting court. 
So back to pass being chased. And, well, there it is. There's a sack for the Golden Eagle defense. Hand off to Hal. Big hole at the 45. And he is brought down just shy of midfield. Devlon and skill guys, running backs. Jordan Potts may be the answer at freshman. And he lofts this one, and that is caught at the 40 for a first down to the 44. Potts got to hand it off straight ahead. And that is Pegues doing a lot of blocking for this Tennessee Tech offense. Back to pass is Potts over the middle, and that is Fleming again for the first down catch. Puts a man in motion, that's Bradley Clark. And going to throw this one. It's a slant. That's Fleming again with the reception at the 25. Two receivers, three backs. And here's the handoff near side. That is Pegues coming far side as he cuts it up inside the 20. Again, two receivers. Second and three. Play action fake. Potts going to roll to his right. Now he's going to tuck it and run, and he's forced out of bounds. Claps his hands. Potts. Throws in the flat. That is Knight. Got it. First down and more. 10-5 into the end zone. Demand of motion. That's Clark again. Hand off tonight. Hole. And he's going to be brought <coughs> down. Well, still on his feet. Oh, it looked like they gave up on the play, but the only one who was still moving was Knight. So 9.50 remaining in the third as we take a look at the touchdown run. Knight fights for it. Looks like he was down. Running back to receive the kickoff. Across the Palmetto State. Fields back to throw. And now he's going to tuck it and run in between the defenders at the 30. Well, So here comes the pressure. Potts nowhere to go, and he's sacked. And that's just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> in the history uh, of playing football, which is a guy named David Corley Jr. Hmm. And I know you thought I was going to say you. I thought you were going to say you. Yeah. yeah. Play begins. Tennessee Tech may have found their QB. Golden Eagles going to fire this one. Wide open receiver coming across the middle of the field, and he gets it to the. And that's big when you're on the road starting for your first start. That's why they pay you the big bucks. That line right there. This is Pagui straight ahead and a nice <laughs> run for the soft member texting you that night. That was a tough play. And a lofted pass to Jordan Smith is a first down at midfield. And that might. Corey Fields. Out of the shotgun snap. Looking left, looking right. Now he finds Nigel Johnson on the little tunnel screen inside the 30. They put Jordan Smith in motion in the slot. Fields going to roll to his right. Lofts this one incomplete. And he had left to right. Bulldogs with a big drive here around midfield. Fields back to pass, being pressured. Going to throw this one out. Got a man. And he gets it into Tennessee Tech. Ter Fields back to throw. And no, incomplete. Looking for Jordan Smith near side. My last year here, and we had some pretty good teams then. We had some good football players back at that time. Here is Pagese getting free at midfield. There is a flag down as he gets in on the lineman. Here's Pegues, squirts through Pagese. inside the 30. Three wide outs, four down linemen. Potts going to roll to his right, throws, and that is caught by the big tight end. Still on his feet. Down inside. It's a man in motion, double tights there. Potts going to pitch it tonight at the five. Walks in for the score. The a hat trick for Marcus Knight. Golden Eagles. Go up two scores. The pitch tonight. And we're giving out the signals on the sideline. Fields back to pass. Looking right. Throws over the middle. That is caught by Tony. And that looks to be good enough for a first down. Ball at the 36. Oh, here comes the pressure. Fields gets out of it. Going to run at the 45. Midfield picks up the first down inside Golden Eagle. Three receivers. Fields. Back to throw, and gets this one out. No, intercepted. Inter and Willie Jeffries Field at South Carolina State. A lot of pink in the stands. Pegues. And Pegues the with the carry. Out of the shotgun, two receivers. Here is the pitch. 
This is Pegues trying to get the edge. Cuts it inside at the 40. Looks like he just got. And it's going to be a new back. Cuts it inside here. Still on his feet at the 30. Down to the 25. It's going to be another run to Baker. Straight ahead. Follows his blockers. And they push him down to the pass catcher. So here's the handoff near side at the 20. Stiff arm forced out of bounds. It stops the clock. The Tech team that was just a quarterback away from playing well, and it looks like they found him. Here is Marcus Knight, the running back at the 10. Forced out of bounds near the 5. Pox takes the snap. Handoff to Begeese. Lunges into the end zone, and there is your... 27-7, to pending the extra point. Snap, spot, kick, and that it's is good. good. We will stay here the rest of the season. 48 seconds left. Bulldogs will have it for the final time, possibly. Here is Jawarn Howe with a big run. Oh, my. Get up the game here. Down to 10 seconds. Handoff straight ahead. Runs this one out. Tennessee Tech improves their record to 2-4. and four. South Carolina State falls to two and four film and get ready to go into MEAC play. Uh, I don't think you'll see an opponent as physical and as big as this for the rest of the year and to go out and continue. 28 to seven for my analyst, Coach Demetrius Davis. I'm Tyler Cup saying so. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Good night now.